just uh, making some pens here and all. Giving her on the peas. Running not bad, I guess. Dan's going over there. Just heading up over the hill. Fucking up his feeder. Pick up. Fucking goddamn shit. I got a. Uh, I gotta adjust my stoppers for my feeder chain to hold the drum up a little bit higher. I think the. Slats are hitting the bottom of the uh, bottom of the pan a little bit, so I'm gonna have to uh, address that. But yeah, they're coming in pretty good. Uh, I've made two hoppers in whatever two quarters of an hour, and I'm at that much right now. So I'm up over my auger, anyways. I got to uh, I'll bring it back in a minute. I got to text them to leave the wild oats. Well, that's kind of nice. Fucking just giving it to the old peas. There's a few spots there, like around there. It's got some weeds and shit in them. We'll uh, come back and pick them up later. This stuff here, we're gonna bin now. I've hauled, uh, uh, let's see, just under 3,000 a ton. And there's a little bit of green shit in there. I'm gonna take that in later, too. I don't want to put that in my bins. So we're full. Got the old dinger light here, just tweaked right in. Uh, yeah, so uh, just heading over to the semi here. Gonna dump. I think Ashley's on her way home from work here shortly. And uh, should be just king. So yeah, talk to you in a bit here. Fuck, I wish the whole field was like this. Standing up real good in here. Well, not even real good in here, but compared to the other 98% of the field, it's just fucking flat. That's why I haven't really recorded a whole lot, because my eyeballs are stuck to this fucking cutter bar. Making sure there's no stones on the fucker. We uh, put a few in underneath this fucking auger already, before a guy could get it shut off, but uh, yeah, I don't know. This is our $1,500 header here. She's looking pretty good, really. So, yeah, I don't know. Not really much else to tell you. That, that's about it. I shifted her shifted her down into first gear. Instead of uh, running second, usually we harvest in second gear all the time. But uh, in and out of these hills and whatnot, and it's just a better speed. We're not really going super fast. But fuck is it dusty. Oh. You can't see shite. Just put the header on the ground. And, I don't know, let her buck. Like I said, we're not going real fast, maybe two mile an hour or something like that. Uh, and then, like I said, the reason is because it's basically they were, I don't know, fucking four feet, say, on average high. And now they're down to six to eight inches. There's the odd little straggler, but. Can you see Velvey? Can't see shit. So, yeah, other than that, I don't know. You get up into the sides or you're a bit on the hill, it didn't get so much moisture. And uh, they go through the combine real good. But it's just getting trouble getting them all when it's laid over so bad. Like that, there's a sprayer track, but we are picking that up. See that? Like I said, this old header works pretty good, but... She's just a son of a biatch. Lots of dust coming out to our summer. Fucking zoom in. Look at the dust. Oh yeah, just chopping her. Yeah. You can't see fuck all. Hang on. My windows are so fucking dirty. Look at them singing in there though, that's what I like. Yeah, I should get my seat back, I think. I think they're probably running around 35, 40. 
<laughs> ah, fuck it. Got enough jokes on you, fuckers. I'll be back in a bit here. I gotta go back the other way. Uh, I'm not even sure how much I got left in this field. And we're, we're over half done anyway, so that's the main thing. But started out the morning digging out the feeder house. Isn't that fucking lovely? Be back in a bit. What a fuck of a day. So yesterday I blew a tire way down there on the combine. The fucking main drive one. So it's like, yeah, four grand. Something like that to get the tire changed and put on. If you look over the hill there, you'll spot another one. Same side, same fucking tire. Different combine, but same, same fucking deal. Anyway, so I ran down and the rim is fucked on that one, so I had to go get a new rim uh, down by Nick there. So I picked up a new rim, went and picked up the tire. I bought a two for one deal, got home, or got to the tire shop, uh, rolled the tire off into the shop, and yeah, that tire's fucked, it ain't gonna hold a fucking hopper full of grain. So that's nice. So I said to the wife, fuck it, what do you want for supper? Let's go get some Dairy Queen. But in between that time, when I just was on my way back from uh, picking up the rim and the tire, I was about halfway home, and I thought, well, shit. She texted me a picture of the, the reel on that straight cut header, and it was fucking like broken in half. Oh, yeah, real good. So I was pretty happy about that. Uh, so was she. So anyway, I come home, and we fucking fix that. And uh, So now, tomorrow morning, I got to go to the city and we'll fucking pick up a brand new tire for the other combine. Plus, I got that rim, so... Hopefully our luck will change here soon, but it pretty much took... Wow, this will be the fourth day on 120 acres. Yep, that's right. 120 acres, four days. Lovely. All right, she said some chain popped off. Just got a text. Be right there. I'm coming. Well... That was one of those days where it makes you say, fuck, that's one of those days. You didn't, shouldn't have done fuck all and you wouldn't have broke a damn thing. So it started out with a flat tire and then a fucked rim. So got the rim. And then the white phones and like I said, the reel broke, the main tube or whatever like this, bust in half. So I got that fixed, then I went and picked up the tire and got it back to town to find out it's fucked. The guy ripped me off, so I think I'm gonna give him a dingle. And uh, we started uh, working on old Paul there, the old Dominator 108 SL. And uh, it's got well, antifreeze in the fucking engine oil, so that's king. So then I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going swathing. That's what I like doing. So I said to Ashley, well, you know what? If you want to shut her down early, Carter's here. He can run the combine in the piece. No, no sooner hung up the phone and she come back and one of the bats between the, between the braces there fucking fell off and ended up in the feeder house of the combine. So she got it shut off in time, so we yanked that piece of shit out, and me and Carter put uh, little sleeves on each side and welded that back together, and he's out, gonna go try the piece here now. And uh, looks like there's a storm a brewing out to the whatever way that is there, the west, I guess, heading over this way. All I got is cold fucking coffee, not even hot stuff. So I figured, fuck it, let's just go. So I got a half a tank. And, uh, yeah, moral of the story is I'm going cutting. I don't give a fuck. Whatever. Done for today. So I'm going to take this up there, start knocking down uh, Carter's canola. Uh, they're talking rain, so canola getting cut like this doesn't mean fuck all. That's actually good on it if it's a little bit green, so that's fine. So we're going to go cut that and then get that quarter done and then probably start the oats. And uh, in the meantime... 
hopefully we get the peas done at home and then uh, move over to Lennel's. Uh, tomorrow morning I gotta be in the Regina. Whoa! <laughs> I gotta be in Regina by 7.30 a.m. at OK Tire and uh, pick up a brand new tire, I guess. Fuck! Anyway, I'm done fucking around with used junk. That's it. She's gonna be brand new tire, brand new. <coughs> oh, that's about like 3,300 bucks, but I fucking don't care. Whatever. So anyway, thanks to Darren in town for getting me a tire, and uh, hopefully we'll get it put on tomorrow. Rain or shine, I guess we'll find out what happens. Anyway, I'll bring you back when I get to the fucking canola. So what happened here? Son of a bitch. Hi, right, I'll meet you in the yard for lunch. We got about uh, two tenths of rain here uh, last night, and we're sitting at what, quarter to three right now. And we're just gonna pull in here and uh, give it a test here and see what it's testing. So that's the plan. No surprise there's any dust, but really, let's just take it as it comes. See all this header's working now. I touched it up a little bit this morning. Put some new, uh, new teeth and whatnot in there. Carts are plugged in the middle. You're pushing dirt carts. Probably a rock. All right, brand new tire. Brand new tire, nice. It's probably just that the ground is muddy yet, I'm thinking. That would be my guess anyway. Looks like it's cutting a bit better now. I don't know. I guess he's going straight through. What do you know? <clears throat> Let's just listen to the old girl for a second here. Pretty good new, not bad. Looks pretty fancy with our new wheels. Some bitch. Thanks to OK Tire and Engine Head. <coughs> Give old Darren a shout. 695-2206. Fucking minty feller. Hooked this up there this morning. I ran to the city and picked up the uh, Picked up the uh, new tire because the one, like I said, the one I bought before was fooked. And come on Paul and the walkers see if Paul's gonna ride again here fucking brand new battery 
Mono white. Mono white. Come on, Carter. I don't got all day. Oh, there. Oh, gosh, yes. Nice! Just burned to life. Just teaching a little bit. Fuck, we're going any fucking swerve. We're going backwards, you son of a bitch. Holy fuck, is this tough. Drain's fucking dry, but... Like, where's our sun? Oh, down there. Fuck yeah, we're... It hasn't rained all year. Poor bastards in Montana. You fucking take this moisture. She's, uh... Really tough going. It, it's more or less ripping... Then cutting, cutting right now, and uh, yeah, I don't know. There's only fucking like five acres left here, so oh, we're just gonna take our time, I guess, and see if we can't get it done. We're really laid over, and what I'm worried about is if it gets rained on again, it's gonna be right fucking flat in the ground. And I just want to get done these fucking bastards because huh, just sick of them. Sick of up. So Carter's out. We got Paul running there. I think we left him idling in the yard. We we're getting any freezing oil last year, and I uh, got some of that lead shit that looks like a shotgun shell. I think it's lead. I don't know what the fuck it is. It doesn't matter. And uh, dump that in the radiator, and we're just leaving it run. We let it run here yesterday for a couple hours or an hour, and go get a little prick. He made it! He made it, you fucker! So, uh, yeah, anyways, we, uh, let it run yesterday. Ooh, look at old blue. Oh, yeah. Let it run, uh, yesterday for a couple hours, and, yeah, I don't know, whatever. It, uh, there's no antifreeze and oil this morning, so maybe it fixed it, but, yeah, we're just gonna let that shit pump through there, and hopefully it'll... It'll work, I don't know. It's actually worse going this way when it's uh, leaned against the uh, combine. Like the stuff is leaning towards us right now. And I find it a harder time for the reel to pull it. Oh yeah, I broke the reel in half right fucking there. Right there. So we put a strap on it. And then I broke uh, two fucking pickup tubes or whatever like where the reels pickup teeth are on the reel itself so yeah we've been having a good go with this and fucking tires and all uh, batteries and everything yeah real fun and anyway, i gotta pay attention that's why i have a video fuck all because the shit's gay and uh yeah i want to talk to you sometime well we got the peas done there was uh, two strips after the inch and three or four tenths we got a rain. So now we're heading over to Lentils and uh, I'm really hoping I can get some footage of that. Those peas were a real bitch to cut. They were laid over so fucking bad. I was on the old up down, up down, up down, up down. All the time, up and down. So uh, I think I got this combine pretty well set where we did last year. I'm gonna have to do some tweaking yet. Uh, we switched the wide wire concaves out and put uh, two narrows in the front and then a wide in the back. Uh, the reason for that is you get that hard thrash at the start and as the rotor takes the crop through then it distributes even over top of the uh, green pan and the bed augers which in turn goes over the sieves. So uh, the other header that's on the other combine is just about seeing it's seen its day I think uh, so we're just gonna run this one and if somebody else comes and they can fuck around on the other one there um, it's always this cutter side where the head is and the uh, wobble box I don't know if the, the spring is fucked down there or what's going on with that but this side flex is good that side does not so 
we will uh, be back at you in a bit here once I get to the field.